Y'all, she gives way a minute. I mean, love. Y'all see, you know you make me want to shout like when David Ruffin came out. Okay, this is David Ruffin, okay? The tips without David Ruffin is a big ass tips. lavish if you are new and welcome to my little beginner perfume collection you guys this has been something that I've been getting into lately and if you're interested in knowing about what I love and what I have become accustomed to and what I've been learning on my perfume journey then go ahead and grab you a little you know a little mocktail cocktail something to quench your thirst okay a little snack a little juice a little water Whatever you need, okay? Whatever you don't, put up on your friend, okay? And give me a little bit of your time. So you guys, over here, I normally focus on lifestyle content, plus size fashion, as well as mom life. But this is my baby. Like, this is my baby right here. It's been just sitting in the cut, just waiting for me to just unleash the dragon on you guys. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. And I had my little trusty, dusty French roast coffee beans right here to clean my nose palette as we go along we will also be unboxing a gifted perfume from my best friend which is Tiffany and Co rose gold I haven't taken her out of the package yet so I'm excited to smell this for the first time and give you guys my reaction so I'm normally the girl that just want to smell good like I'm not paying attention to any notes you know what I mean? I just want it to smell good. Sometimes I want to smell sweet. Sometimes I want to smell like I'm still out pumps in the club. It can very much so vary, but as of lately, I have been very much so particular about my scents. So let's get into this collection haul of all the perfumes that I own. My collection isn't the largest, but it's growing and it's showing like, look you guys, we have a tray full of goodies. You understand what I'm saying, friend? <laughs> we getting it. So as a hot tip, you guys, I kind of want to recommend that you kind of know what kind of scents that you like, recognizing the different notes and things of that nature so that when you're doing these blind buys online or in store, you kind of have an idea of what you want to lean towards or shy away from. Also, you guys, another hot tip, those samples that they push on you in the department stores and your Macy's and your Nordstrom's, you know, and your Bloomies, Take, take the, take it, friend, okay? <laughs> take the sample, girl. Take the sample because you never know what scent may end up growing on you. Um, it's a lot of things on this tray that I thought that I would not be into, but I have learned that I'm very much so interested in them. Also, you guys, I'll try to link all of the perfumes down below in the comments. And I'll just be looking down at my notes all the notes in each perfume, you guys. So first, you guys, I hear a lot of people rant and rave about YSL Libre, but I feel as though YSL Moon Paris does not get, you know, her due deals. She deserves better, okay? I deserve, she deserves better. She is very much so sweet. Oh, it's just like a dreamy scent. To me, this gives wedding day proposal. Very much so romantic. She is such a romantic grown woman scent. Like, you gotta be 25 plus to wear her. You know, expensive without that that big old price tag on her. But she still gives what needs to be gained. And the notes that YSL Moon Paris gives is Peony White Musk, the Tora Accord, and Patchouli Essence. You guys, I just love, love, love this. Now, when I said in the beginning of the video that I just wanted to smell good, this right here was my go-to, you guys. Like, every day, I, all I wanted, my husband would ask, what you want, what perfume you want? YSL Moon Paris? Why I sell more parents since it came out. This has been my girl, okay? So I had to start with her because this is where it all began with her. Yes. <laughs> yes, it did, friend. Okay, let me clear. Okay, now this bad boy right here, I feel like layers with everything. 
she is very much so slept on. I got her from Burlington for like $12.99. She was very much so inexpensive for me. My daughter always plays with it. She thinks that it's an actual juice box. I just think that the packaging on here is super duper cute. And she is the juice 100% chill. She has notes of red berries and bergamot, orange blossom and coconut water, musk and saddlewood, as well as cashmere. So you guys, she is a melting pot of fragrance. And when I say I like to layer her, I like to layer her under any of these scents on this tray, specifically because I just feel like my scents last longer when I layer this on. Like when I put this on first, it just makes everything just last 100% longer. Like I don't know what it is about it. And the funny thing about it is her dry down is amazing, but don't grab her to just wear her on her own. Like she has to be mixed with something else. She She's not like a, a standalone type of girl, okay? She has to have the girl band with her, okay? She, she She's not a Beyonce, she's a Destiny's Child. This is a group effort here when it comes to this fragrance. Unless you are very much so into that musky smell and that saddlewood because it comes through very strong okay very very strong but when it comes to layering she's that girl okay i layer her with anything any day and it, i just i just feel like i smell the original fragrance longer throughout the day so this right here is a toilet it's an oldie but a goodie and you guys probably don't hear much about her mm. oh but she makes me fall in love every time I smell her, okay? This is that, my man, my man, my man. She's just so damn sexy. Like, I don't know why this perfume is so sexy. I don't know why they stopped making it. I done found her in Burlington and I had to give me three. Yup, that's how much I love her. I had to give me three bottles because I will reach for this all the time. And it is Versace Red Jeans. And she's still that girl. She still can hold her own, okay? She still can give you Beyonce. She has notes of peach, black currant, fresher, lily of the valley, violet, water lily, and rose. And her base is composed of sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. She's a must have. Now, I don't know, I don't know if you can go in the Versace store and get her. I do know that Amazon carries it. I will definitely leave a link down below in the comments. But I got mine for $19.99 in Burlington. And like I said, I bought three because she slept on. I don't know why she's so slept on. I believe that she also deserves a bit more attention. Okay? Next, you guys, we have the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. Okay? Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. And I just love how sleek this bottle is. As you can tell, I don't reach for her... As much, I feel like she got purchased. Well, my husband actually purchased this one for me. He purchased a lot of my perfumes, by the way. But I feel like she got purchased for her name. You know how some perfumes get purchased for their name? Yeah, she got purchased for her name. However, she is not my favorite girl now. That doesn't mean that I don't grab her from time to time. And I'm a heavy, I'm a heavy spread, but you can tell that I haven't done too much of anything with this bottle, but about five, you know, five squirts, you know, here and there. She's more on the, you know, adult, adult lady. You're late thirties to me, for me. <laughs> That's what she gives. She gives very much so, you know, by the fireplace, you know, bare skin rug, round type situation. Because she's very like woody and she gives off like a seductive feel. She Coco Chanel, rich auntie vibes. She just gives me rich, like rich. Like, I, I don't know whatever way to put it. So that's what I got to say about Miss Mademoiselle. I think I will pull her out once I hit the lottery and walk in the bank and they gonna know I'm rich over it. Okay, you guys, this right here is another one of my favorites. As you can tell, I lean more towards the sweeter side of things. Uh, she has a little dent in her. However, she is my second bottle this year of 2023. And what, cause I'm a heavy sprayer and I'm just gonna spray her right now cause I just love her that much. Oh. She just smells so good, like so fresh, like, oh, she just gives pretty girl. Like, this is Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Like, she gives me Barbie, you guys. She has notes of pink pepper, blood orange, 
sweet orange, mandarin orange, Kyle brand bergamot, rose and lemon. Y'all, I love this dry down for me. This works very well with my body chemistry and I be smelling good all day when I put this on. Besides me being a heavy sprayer, I be smelling real, real good. If I lay a herb with this juice chill, baby, they are a force to be reckoned with. Now, it's mixing a lot. However, just trust me, friend. Just trust me. If you try it, tell me how you like it. It just lays all day. And I really love her. I'm surprised that she has so many oranges in her. Like, I, I didn't expect her to have that much orange and mandarins. Because I, I don't like orange. Like, I won't lean towards a citrus scent all the time. She's just very sweet to me. I didn't know oranges was that sweet, y'all. I really didn't. Next, that was one of my fave, 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 fave favorites, which is Jimmy Choo Fever, you guys. Jimmy Choo Fever has notes of plum, lychee, vanilla, jasmine, and grapefruit, you guys, and a host of others, but those are the ones that stand out. And those are the ones that I can see right now. But she gives very much so sex appeal. Like, hello, bombshell. Like, you know how the Victoria's Secret commercial used to be, girl? Like, it gives very much so very sexy. Like, this is a sexy perfume. Okay? Jimmy. And you can tell, like, I be thinking I'm sexy with this, y'all. This is, this is, I, it's time to re-up. She halfway there. She is halfway there, friend. This one I got gifted, which is Beautiful Magnolia by Estee Lauder, you guys. I just love the way this bottle looks. And you guys, I was scared at first. So y'all, I really thought that Estee Lauder was gonna give me the rich auntie. Like, I was like, okay, it's a gift. I'll accept it. Thank you so much, Estee Lauder. You know, but when I hear that name, when it comes to makeup, when it comes to everything, I was just thinking like, this gives old lady yang, like the OLG. Friend, she ain't old, she, she can give hot girl summer. She can give hot girl summer. She can give you city girls. Yes, she can. And I was like, oh, when I smelled it, I was like, oh, dang. Well, thank you, Estee Lauder. Oh. The beautiful Magnolia by Estee Lauder, you guys, of course, had notes of Magnolia, Gardenia, Warm Woods, and Luminous Musk. Now, I'm not a floral girl. Like, I don't even like flowers on clothes. Like, if it got too many flowers, I, I'm not like a flower power unless it's in a vase, you know, and aesthetically pleasing. But when it comes to the smell, she's like a sweet floral. Like, I don't think, I don't know. Like, they be confusing me because they say floral, but she gives me sweet. She gives me pear, strawberry, a little bit of papaya. Like, she gives me like a fruity, sweet scent with a, a smidge of a flower. You know, she doesn't give me flower girl at all. But honey, I'll say flower power to sweet magnolia, okay? Now that, wasn't that, oh no, beautiful magnolia. I was gonna say, wasn't that the name of a movie or something, y'all? Listen, hot girl summer all day long. Don't get it confused, she ain't rich auntie. She's a rich auntie, okay? She still can give you hot girl summer. So you guys, make sure you check out Beautiful Magnolia by Estee Lauder. All right, you guys, we coming, we getting through it now. Y'all hanging in there. If you've been here thus far, you guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you know, and ring that notification bell so that you can know when I post. So you guys, next up I have what I've been reaching for lately almost every day, which is the Jimmy Choo Blossom. And she is very sweet. She is very, very sweet. But I do smell some citrus and like pear in her when I spray her. Yeah, she's very sweet. So the top notes on her is raspberry, red berries, and citruses. So I did get it right with her when I said that she gave me very much so citrusy, but sweet raspberry, red berries, and citrus. Are the top notes, the middle notes are sweet pea and rose. Okay. And she just gives a fresh scent, like very much so fresh clean out the shower. I can wear her to bed, you know, or I can wear her when I just get up. You know, that morning shower, ooh, on the way to work. She is so clean. Like, my husband bought the small one, you guys, but I kind of wish that he would have got me the big bottle, because I want a big one, and I feel like this is gonna be gone. 
Um, I just got her a few weeks ago, I wanna say like two or three weeks ago, and I've been reaching for her. I've been spraying her, I've been disregarding everybody. And I need to get in the habit of just putting a few out on my tray, you know, and rotate them throughout the week so that I can make, definitely use all of the product before going out to purchase more. But you guys, give me two blossom, get you some. And I never heard of her, I haven't even seen her float around and I just love the bottle. Isn't she just a darling little bottle? She is so cute and dainty. All right, you guys, and we're just gonna get into our body mist. Now, I just ordered this Altair. This is kinda new. They just came out with body mist and I ordered the Pacific Pear. She has notes of Juicy Pear, Jasmine, and Saddlewood. And you guys, I love it. I love the way she sprays out. Like the sprayer is very much so give you a wide array, okay? This man gonna come in here and eat me up. I'm smelling all this good stuff. Smelling like everything. <laughs> but no, you guys, make sure you check out Salt's hair and check out this juicy pear. She gives me, if you're an old, I ain't gonna say an old head, but if you're a Victoria's Secret lover, um, and if you remember Victoria's Secret Body Mist Pear, that sandalwood in here makes her a smidge different. So yeah, make sure you check out this Body Mist from Solitaire. She can also be used in your hair as well. And I have been getting into hairsprays, you guys. Love this for us. And of course I have to have, don't ask me with my top at you guys, I have a, a taller and two tops are missing. I know who had them. Where they at now, I can't tell you, friend. But, <laughs> so I disregard the top missing. As long as the miss is still there. Now, she's barely there, okay? And this is the Brazilian Crush Chorizo 68. She has jasmine, pink, dragon fruit in her. And she smells delicioso, okay? She is a delicious cup of tea. Now, I want to do so that Janeiro sell this in the perfume. Y'all let me know down below in the comments because I, I just noticed that they have regular perfumes too, but I just always see the girls rave about the body mist and the body wash and the creams, but not so much about the perfumes. If this came in a perfume, y'all, or if it comes in a perfume, I'm buying it. I'm gonna Google it. Matter of fact, let's see. All right, you guys, and last but not least, let me stand up for this part. So, let me move y'all over. I was recently in my best friend's wedding. Well, I was the maid of honor, okay? In my best friend's wedding. I planned the wedding. All of that good jazz, okay? We was in a Dominicana, living our best life, getting our salsa on. Make sure you go and check out those vlogs, girl. But she gifted me her, let me back up, pause, rewind. Her, her wedding colors were Tiffany blue and rose gold. So you guys. She gifted all of us Tiffany, Tiffany necklaces, and I got the big bad wolf, okay? I got the Rose Gold Tiffany & Co. perfume now, you guys. We gonna unbox this and smell this together, okay? I'm excited. You excited, friend? I'm excited. I am. Look, I've been holding on to this for some weeks, y'all. I was been supposed to open this box, but I said, I'm gonna wait. I'm away, I'm away, I'm away. Okay, and now the time is here, so let's do it.
montage. Yes, she did. Okay, and she got it too. Okay, of course I can't smell nothing because she never been sprayed. Get it out. Get it out your system. I want to be starting soon. All right, now I wish I would have did this first because I want to get the real. Ooh, y'all, she gives. Wait a minute, I've been loved. Y'all say you know you make me want to shout like when David Ruffin came out. Okay, this is David Ruffin. Okay, the tips without David Ruffin is a fake ass tips. This is your David Ruffin. Y'all know how smooth David Ruffin was. Y'all know how smooth he was in, 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 in um, The Temptations. If you ain't never seen The Temptations, I don't know what's wrong with you, okay? Where you been at? Go look at it right now, friend. This is David Ruffin, the smooth, sexy mother hunter, okay? Without without the drugs. Without... Yeah. Friend. How cute this hardware is. How pretty is this bottle? Oh, my goodness this rose gold with the tiffany blue just she gives she gives friend okay she gives she gives and guess what they have the notes like you can see it through the back of the package i don't know if you guys can see it i hope you can but they have it written back there like that like bam girl you can't miss it you can't miss it for real she has notes of black currant blue rose and amaret seed, amaret seed, Tiffany and Co. This is a sexy perfume, friend. This is a sexy perfume. Now I, I can't be spraying on the bottle because she's a little pricey. She's a little bit on the pricey side. Thank you so much, best friend, for this amazing gift. I really do appreciate it. But she made me do a, a whole little dance and everything. Y'all saying it, friend? Get you some. Try her out. Go in the Tiffany store, ask for a sample, like I said. Or sometimes you guys can order samples online. All of these perfumes, perfumes, body sprays, all of the scents will be linked down below in the description bar, you guys. I'm excited about this perfume. I'm ready to go take a whole nother shower just to put her on right now to get everything else off my skin. Real good. But... Let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite. If you have any of these perfumes at home or any suggestions that you may have for future buys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and my perfume collection as much as I did creating it for you. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because it's a vibe. And that's a who? Pretty Boo and Marie had a little lame. Okay, don't play with them. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. See you later. Peace.